What's up guys, welcome to another device review on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at the WeTech Play device. Um, I've had this device for about two months. Um, I really wanted to get my hands on this because the potential is huge for this little device. Um, not many people know about, this, um, about the WeTech Play, although it's been released earlier on this year. Um, I think it's more um, popular in the European countries. Uh, in the UK, you don't really hear too much about them, which I was a little bit disappointed about because, like I say, it's got huge potential, which I will show you a few things that I've been using it for and just take you around the box itself. So in front of me, I've got the actual device, um, the WeTech box, and as you can see, it's pretty small and compact, which is the first thing I love. Um, it's very light. It's roughly about probably six inches wide and about eight inches long. Um, and at the front of the uh, device you'll have two neon lights or indicators for the Wi-Fi and the LAN. There is the uh, almost that's the indicator for power so it goes blue when you turn it on and let's take around this side here so here you have a USB port and a micro SD I've currently got a micro SD so I'll take that out um, you get there two slots on the side on the back of the device now so you can see all the outlets there so you've got your power on the right optical HDMI which is 1.4 so that's going to be uh, non 4k uh, you've got your LAN and USBs and lastly what I want to talk about is the far left modules now as you can see I've got two dual tuners um, ANT1 and ANT2 these are for Sky, so to actually plug into a Sky dish in the UK. Um, but you, what I love about this box is that you can change them, and it's simple as plug and play. So this box came with a blank plate across there, which you couldn't see any modules. You literally take that out, and you buy the modules you need. So if you've only got an aerial uh, on your property, um, you buy the tuner for aerial, so you pick up your free view. If you've got cable, you buy that module again you'll just plug it in and that will run off your virgin line so it picks up virgin channels and again if you've got sky you can actually buy the modules like i've done here and you can plug both them in so let's clarify one thing by putting these um mod uh, the uh, cables into these modules you will pick up what the satellite or the cable or the free view picks up now with sky you'll only pick up the free view channels along with virgin Okay, so you don't pick up all the Sky channels that you can watch. Yes, you pick them all up, but they are all blocked because obviously they're a premium service and they are not available just basically to everyone to plug and play and think they can watch it. But I'll go into a bit more depth about that when I boot this box up and talk to you more about the box. So yeah, so that's the uh, back of the box and that's the other side. So basically really, really nice and compact, um, very light, like I said and it's just a fantastic feature where you can swap modules. You wouldn't believe how uh, popular um, this has become. I spoke to a few of my friends, they couldn't believe you, there's a device like this, you could do that, along with other stuff which I spoke to them about, but again, I'll take you through it anyway. So remote-wise, um, it comes with a standard bulk remote, which is okay, um, nothing too fancy. And you also can get a WeTech remote, which I think is really nice got the mouse on the back there to use it and some nice functions and again it, it just feels quality in your hand and it fits in your hand great so I prefer the actual WeTech remote anyway compared to the other so I have still got the box so I'll show you guys the box quickly um, again there's not really much in there but you get a nice like, white box again it has XBMC again you can see how outdated update, update, sorry um, this box this is really run Kodi on the back of it it gives you a little bit of spec on the box and what it's all about. So yeah, three USBs, micro SD, four gig um, land, um, along with other specs on the box. And at the bottom you can see it's got a Google Play Store and the Wi-Fi and SP diff as well. On the side again, it's got some wording and writing there. So let's take a look inside the box. So again, I've got a few things left in this box, but we'll open up the first package. Which is that's where the box is held, so we'll remove that, and then you've got 
some We Tech Play Quick Start Guides, which I must say um, is, is, is brilliant. Um, you know, when you're buying a We Tech, I say this is from appnettv.co.uk, um, it's really, really easy to, to get going. You know, it's one of those devices where you literally can buy it, plug and play, and obviously um, the guys at AppNet have got um, phenomenal knowledge on it now. Um, they've been testing a lot of things. This is your membership card you get with uh, the device. What you do is that you go on to uh, wetech.com, as you can see on there, and you register your device. So basically, um, if again, if there's any problems, they can relate to what device and who owns it. And also, um, you'll need this for then the antennae as well to set up all your free view and that. But take, again, you get this with the box. There's guides in the quick setup guide, and they're really, really simple to follow. Um, again, there's just some more bits of pieces, nothing really major um, on the uh, in the box. And then lastly, at the bottom, you'll get um, HDMI. Again, I already have one, so I didn't have any use that. You know, I was talking about the modules. That's the blank plate in front. So basically, if I grab the box, you can see that this sits inside there before you buy it, okay? So again, that just pops out, and then you just buy this, um, or buy the module you want, and then slip it in. Nothing to configure, nothing at all. So you've got to worry about if you're not too glued up on the technical side of things. It's literally plug and play. Okay, and also, um, I've got another micro SD card, because, um, again, you can boot this device um, to many operating systems. So, for example, I've got an 8 gig one here, oh no, that's, that's my 32 gig one here, and I'm running a config from AppNet TV, which they sell along with the box. That is phenomenal, which I'm going to show you guys. And here's an 8 gig one that's got OpenELEC. So, again, you've got an Android device, they can play Android and run Kodi on it as well, and your um, pick up your channels and um, Arial, or you can actually boot Android um, um, OpenELEC or um, PB Enigma, a special com uh, customization version from AppNet, or there are actually other versions of software. So you're not just buying a box; you're buying a box that can run various operating systems, and it's literally as basic and easy as plugging this into the box, turning it on, and it'll boot. That is simple as it, nothing else needed. So they're the micro SD cards, but again, I'll take, talk you through a bit more of that when we uh, boot the box up. And then lastly, you just got some uh, VJA lead here. Again, I'm not really using that because mine's gonna be like this HDMI. So that's the actual, uh, what's left in the box. Um, this is the device. What we're gonna do now is that we're gonna uh, boot this one up and uh, take it for a spin. Okay guys, so we booted up the WeTech Play and this is the default uh, Android setup you get when you do not have any other operator uh, system that is on your micro SD card in. So I've literally taken out my SD card which has um, say my OpenELEC one and the PB Enigma from AppNet and I'm just literally just turning it on as if I was for the first time. So this is the Android screen you get. Um, I've had many comments on this actually and how nice and clean it looks and yeah, I, I agree, it's, it's, it's a really nice um, design. Many of you guys know I'm not a huge Android fan, so, um, but yeah, I really like this. So, this is the setup you get. We'll go through, we'll run through a few things um, that I've sort of ventured into and looked at. Um, but first of all, let's for example go into the settings. Here you have your Android settings, your weather settings, and your WeTech services settings. When you buy this device and you go to WeTech.com, um, there is a place where you can actually upload your own IPTV channels. So, for example, if you have some great M3U lists that you use regularly on Kodi, for example, you can add them to the WeTech remotely anywhere. You know, at, if you're at work on your on your mobile, you can come home, you can press play, which I'll show you in a minute and you can watch those channels. So again, this is another great feature of WeTech that I like. We won't go too much into the details of the settings. Uh, <clears throat> again, you have, let's go back over to here. Settings, you've got your power off, uh, connect to the internet. Again, it's a web browser, it, it works great. And recent apps that you've um, been and used. So let's jump straight to the TV. 
here then you'll be granted then with, like I say, the Watch Internet TV channels. WeTech actually has quite a few, um, as I'd say, European channels that you can watch already. Um, I don't really go into this too much, I don't really use it too much. But for example, here are your default ones that WeTech provide. I have contacted WeTech and I said, could you, for example, add the UK Freeview because it is free to air um, and they said they're looking into it. But there are quite a few here, but again, I, I, again, these are all European and I don't use them on here. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's a great um, addition. Again, if you want to watch, like, for example, Sports TV or CNN Turk, you just press play. We'll see if this one will work. And yeah, it just goes straight in. So these are, as I say, these are default um, to your um, setup anyway. Um, so yeah, you've also got sorry EPG on there as well. Uh, you can see what channels or what view, uh, what time and stuff like that. But again, some people like this. But like I mentioned earlier on, this box I feel was really pushed towards the European market. So again, this is something that um, is great for the uh, Europeans. You also have a uh, drop down if you press left on the remote, um, brings up the categories which you can just easily view um, to. But again, there's not really m major great channels. So we'll exit out of there. Again, uh, that's also the other place where you can watch your free view channels. But again, this is all, um, you all find this out when you buy a device. You go to we wetech.com um, or you go to AppNet and buy it and you want to go to WeTech to register you will then just say this 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 do this and then it will just all come clear to you it's really easy to set up so watch DVB channels okay so this is going to now pick up all the channels off my sky dish um, and allow me to watch the free view no sky channels uh, paid wise so we'll click onto that and again I've got um, HD channels for free and you can see there it's running fine in HD. Um, another cool thing is, um, let me just get rid of that. Another cool thing that you can do um, with this device is that you can group the channels. Uh, so for example, if I just press the right arrow there, it brings up a list of all the channels I can watch basically. So all my free view channels and it picks up a few uh, paid ones. But at the top you can see it's UK. So I've grouped these channels to um, all my UK channels that I use. Very easy to do. Um, again, um, this is this is all explained uh, in the startup guide with WeTech. And um, so we'll go across again. And then, yeah, it just, uh, instead of going down one by one, you can jump to um, the different um, channels. So um, let's exit out there, for example. So that's all like the place on Android where you'd watch your telly if you just plugged it in free view, you know, stuff like that. In here you have your apps. Again, um, you can see Cody's in there. Cody comes as default, you don't have to ins uh, install it. You can see there's OS tool there, OS cam. You can run OS cam on the Android side with some configuration. So when you go into the WeTech and use the DVB channels, you can watch Sky channels. Again, for you guys who know about OS cam, you'll know what I mean. For those guys who don't know about OS cam and C lines, Google it, do not ask me, Google it and then you'll see what it's all about. But again, these are all the um, applications you can, uh, that I've got on my device and you have your settings there where you can set your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I run Ethernet as you, always, uh, as you guys know um, and uh, I have about 15 meg um, Ethernet roughly and again, it's, you know, it, it works great for me. So these are all your settings and nothing really you need to go in there too much about apart from setting up your Wi-Fi on Ethernet. So we'll go outside there, here's your web browser, I was touching on before, it's just a Google browser, it works, works great. Uh, local here is where you can go inside all your local um, memory uh, to your device and look up files and stuff like that. Again, I haven't really touched on that because I don't really need to, it's not something that will improve my viewing on this device. And then you have Kodi on the Android side, which works great. Um, Come standard on here is 14.2, yeah, 14.2, but again, you can upgrade it in the various ways which I've seen online. Again, I'm constantly researching on this device. So I've had it two months and I'm learning something every, nearly every day, which is really cool. So again, yeah, these all work fine, very fast, very great, no lagging. Um, I've got a few add-ons I just put on here earlier on to test out, show you guys, because I don't use this side of um, Kodi on Android, because even though it runs great and smooth, um, the dual boot open elect and other ones I've been using are just absolutely phenomenal. 
and again it's all from one device so let's just click on one go into Phoenix so I'll just play this to show you guys how it's running and works okay and here we go so I'll just play the film and as you can see there guys it's working fine no problems there in 720 again it's it's just it's just it's just great it's just great that you can flip back and forth back and forth uh, from android to um cody um to exit out of here you won't have to press this and it does take a couple of seconds then to do dual um, to boot back into the android side um as you can see guys so for example you know i've got a lot of people say to me what you know on a sat box that does cody as well and stuff i said well there's loads out there but this one has more this has a bit extra this has like an edge to it you can dual boot it you can have a uh, dual boot retro on here as well which i've been reading up on and say for example you watch tv go to tv then you think oh, i want to watch a movie i want to catch up on some movies i've got on my nas through cody go to cody press play and you're there all in one device down here some shortcuts that I've put on there again. You see the OS tool there that I was playing around with earlier on. Um, but again, this is the Android side of things. It's really nice, it works really well. Um, and what we'll do next is that we'll, we'll go to, um, we'll dual boot and we'll go into the PB Nigma uh, custom configuration from appnettv.co.uk and then we'll show you about that on the WeTech. So uh, see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so we've just um, taken the PB Enigma micro SD card configuration from appnettv.co.uk and I have put it into the WeTech device. I have then turned it on and so now you'll see that it's running the PB Enigma version 5 setup um, and uh, we're going to take you through this now. So as you can see straight away, um, Make Let me just turn this down a little bit. So as you can keep, see straight away, it's popping up like a sky, like this sky, everyone's favourite sky um, UI. And um, I've had a few friends around last night. We was going for his device, and just that sold it to him. Just having that on the device, along with obviously the Android side and stuff like that, it just said how how you know user friendly is that. And I can't disagree with him to be honest. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So what I've done um, with my box, I've got the like I said, I've got the PB Enigma config for MapNet plugged in. I've got my Ethernet, which I've gone straight to left it in um, hardwired because it runs better on Ethernet. I'm not tried Wi Fi, it could be a bit dodgy, I think. Um, and um, I, am, I am just going to talk you through the process of these channels. So I've got both of my Sky channels, so your twin cable, both of those are in this device. Okay, you can just have one. But you'll realise later on when I talk about you'll need two in there for a reason, okay? So twin or single, stick it in there, the Sky One, you'll pick up all the free view, okay? So let's click the EPG um, button on the actual WeTech remote. It will pop up now, again, very user friendly, and it has the what's on what's next. Now, again, it will, it, again, it will populate over a period of time, like I've just turned it on. and. So for example, you have all your Sky listens on as well. So obviously it picks up all your Sky channels, but I spoke about OS Cam and C line. So I've done some research online and um, you can you can add a, a OS Cam and C line, which is basically a Sky subscription um, to this device. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do it, because obviously um, it's very frowned upon and you know, I don't wanna get any trouble, but it's out there, I've got hold of a demo. Uh, they do day demos in various places and stuff. And just to give it a try and how it works. So, again, I've had this device. I've had this sort of setup for a couple of days. I'm very green to it, so just bear with me. So, we'll click on Sky One David Abra Fly In. And then it'll pop up there and it's working fine. Click the remote again to bring it up the EPG at the top a little bit about what you're watching and so forth, like that. Another thing you want to do to bear in mind if I just say to you this now, Get the IP address of the of this device now. You can do this in the settings. Just remember, this is a key feature which I was told last night by the team at AppNet that just sort of blew me away, which I'll show you guys in a sec. So, press the menu button on your device. You'll see at the start at the top. So it says Start Cody. We'll go touch on that in a minute. Um, other uh, plugins are like um, sorry, 
information tells you about the service, about the uh, device, about the config. Plugins tells you what plugins are on this device to make the, the PB Enigma run. Uh, the setup, click onto the setup, it tells you about the set, uh, settings. Also, power tool control. Uh, one of the guys asked when I was running when around, mentioned that's a good feature to have. Again, factory reset if you need to, software update which you don't really need to. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it basically. Again, the XML TV and port you don't really touch to be honest. So you've got, so, oh, so let's close that. So I've just hit the software update. Just clear that back. But we'll go up to in the system. And here you can actually go and uh, look at your network uh, settings, your recording settings. Yes, guys, you can record all this. So it's literally like Skype. So basically, what I've worked out and read up is that you can plug in a USB to it. You can uh, also insert a SATA drive and then you can record to it. Again, still green to it, still new to it, but I'm doing loads of research and, it, and, and it's possible. I've seen it. Um, so I'm going to be doing that hopefully in the next few days uh, into the recording section. You can also pause live TV. Okay, so you can pause it and then it will carry on playing. As long as you've got a recordable device now, like a USB or SATA drive, what it does, it basically just records when you pause from and then it plays when you play catch up. So again, that works phenomenal as well. I've seen that last night. Uh, it talks about, you can go into your EPG. But like I say, the guys at AppNet, what they've done is they've got PB Enigma and they've broken it down and they've looked at how easy it could make it even more for users. So when you get the device, they get the um, micro SD card with it already fully on and they can plug it in and they've got all the free view channels and all the settings there. Um, it's for the end user to look further and deeper if you want these extra sky channels guys okay that is something that you have to um, sort of do your research and just you know um, look out there it is available guys I'm not gonna lie to you it is out there and you just need to do some research and there's plenty of people to give you a hand anyway if you ask nicely. Um, more more uh, setup settings um, again, peak on path, these are for your peak ons for your images. Not, don't really use it on here. Video fine tuning, again, don't read really on here. Because again, when you get this from uh, AppNet, um, appnettv.co.uk, it's already ready for you to plug and play with all, the, with all the free view channels. The Sky ones like this one I'm watching now, again, it's available, but it's blocked, obviously, because it's illegal to do, to, to do such a thing, um, to sell such a thing. So it's for the end user to... Um, to definitely go out there and uh, venture out and to learn a bit. So, okay, so that's sort of like everything really on the PB Me. Well, yes, it's wow, yes, it's awesome, but what's awesome is now start Cody. So let's go ahead and just think, okay, so I'm watching Sky and I want to go into Cody. A bit like the Android side, um, so we'll click OK. And um, you think, oh, I'm going to watch one of my TV shows or I'm going to watch something from my NAS on my, on my uh, home network or an add on or something. You literally just go to start Cody and um, it will load up, I think it's 15.1 I think they've got on there. So what uh, AppNet have done is they've packaged Cody in there with their own Cronus config, which is one of the most popular ones in the community, and said, what, well, there you go to the customer. You've got all, everything you need. You've got, all your, you've, got, you've got Sky TV effectively with the free view channels and the nice Sky UI. And here you've got Cody as well. So it's all giving you everything. Only thing again you need to do is if you want to go further afield and obviously enable blocked channels, and uh, that's obviously up to the end user, not um, AppNet TV. So here you've got all the great add-ons: um, Kids Zone, iStream, Add-on Central, um, your settings, and it, it all works fabulously well. And again, AppNet are obviously a professional outlet; they they keep their builds updated. They only have one, Cronus, at the moment, and it's it's regularly updated. Do you really find any broken add-ons? Uh, and stuff like that, because obviously add-ons move around and, and they come and go, but these guys are spot on with their stuff, and they've got it all loaded up for you ready to use. So we'll go to Phoenix, for example, and let's choose, um, let's choose, let's go into, yeah, let's go into here, and then we'll go and just play a movie. So let's go HD movies, because obviously you can play HD guys, you know. Um, I know we took have got a 4K box out, but 4K to me is is, is not nowhere near ready for people to use. There's, there's hardly any content around, to be honest, and you need obviously 15 meg minimum um, download for it to uh, to work on your network. So we'll click on one of the links, and it will play in a sec. But again, one's HD fine. I said I've got an Ethernet plugged into mine anyway. I don't run out over Wi-Fi. Um, so we'll let this we'll let this play. 
And you know what I touched on about IP address, finding it in the systems within the PB Enigma. Okay, write down that IP address of your um, of your box, because what it, what it's going to do is that it's going to allow you to view the channels you get on your device in another room on another device on another device basically so if you say things have got next door and you've got an Amazon Fire TV with Cody on it go to Cody which I'll show you in a minute I've got an Apple TV 4 that's running this as well um, you go and um, enable a PVR client which I'll show you guys in a sec and you can watch alternate channel uh, channels so as long as you've got the two cables plugged into the AppNet, uh, sorry to the um, WeTech box you can watch alternate channels throughout your network on I've tried up to four devices okay um, I'm not how I'm not too sure how many more will um, will work these links don't seem to be working but okay but um, but yeah if you've got only got one of your satellite cables in the box you can still view your channel on another device through a PVR client which I'll show you but you have to watch what they're watching having a two makes you have the ability to watch a different channel basically okay so Okay, so this this uh, link's not going to be working, so I won't bore you too much with the uh, Kobe side of things. Um, but it, it, guys, I know I can't stress how excited this box is because I'm learning something every day, and to me that's something um, that's really good to have in a community. A box that gets better and better, not a box you just play with and it works great all the time, but something that keeps improving it without you buying another box. And this is a box that keeps giving. So okay, so what we'll do now is that. I've got down my IP address. I'm going to jump onto my Apple TV 4, which can't be jailbroken, but I'm going to show you a nice little, a nice little trick. And I'm going to start viewing some of the channels that I've picked up on my WeTech and the channels that I've entered a C line in myself as a demo and get the Sky TV channels working on Apple TV. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, guys, so I've got my Apple TV 4. I've turned it on as you can see. And obviously, I know you guys think, how am I going to do this on Apple TV 4? Because there's no jailbreak or Kodi. But yes, there is Kodi on here. There's a forked version called MC Mr. MC Media Center. I believe it's available on the App Store, but I got mine from API Wind. Uh, I've done a YouTube on their services, so maybe check that out so you guys can get it as well. So this is a forked version. It's basically stripped out all the stuff on the Python side of things where you can enable repositories and add-ons. It ain't doing that. It's basically just as you can see. Um, it's so you can uh, look at your um, internal media on your network and also PBO clients, which we're kind of going to use and almost exploit to a way, to be honest. So, what I've done is I've got the IP address which I talked about on the WeTech on the PB thing. I, read, I wrote it down. I went into system. I went down to add-ons. And again, this will work on any Kodi device. So my Amazon Fire TV and my Raspberry Pi in separate rooms, I just go into the PVR clients as you would do normally in Kodi and just follow these steps. So I scroll down and I'm going to go to the bottom one. Uh, where is it? Oh, he's all, sorry, he's all disabled. So what we'll do is go to my add-ons, PVR clients. And we'll go to, there we go, sorry. So it's the bottom one. So it's VU plus stroke Enigma 2 client. As you can see, it's already enabled. And as you can see, the top right corner is populating. Obviously, Sky Channels, there's like, I don't know, 900 of them or so. So you click on there. You click Config. And then you enter in your IP address from your WeTech box on the PB Enigma side. Okay. Once you have done that, you press Enable. You then go back out of here. So again, if you're just running code on Amazon Fire, just follow these steps. So you go straight up to TV. We'll go up to TV. Select C TV. And as you can see, enabled on the right-hand side is already in blue. If it's not, just go across to the right-hand side and press enable. And then all of a sudden, you'll see the top right uh, corner, they start populating. So we'll come outside of there. And as you can see, the TV is now popped up. So let's go in here. And mind you, yeah, that I'm actually, I have, I have the, my WeTech, PB Enigma, uh, running, uh, I think it was BBC Two, I think, or maybe BBC One, I left it on. 
Now, because I've got the two um, cables in there, I can watch alternate channels. So let's hit up Sky Sports 1. There we go, guys. I've got Sky Sports 1 playing. And again, this is piggybacking, which I call it, the Wii Tech PB Enigma. Okay? Again, we can go to EPG. He'll pick up there. And then what we'll do is we'll stop this. We'll stop this and then we'll go over to the right, left hand side. Sorry. And again, on here, like most people I find, so one you use, you can go into groups and you can choose, for example, you know, movies or sports or where you want to watch uh, certain channels. You also have the guide, which is great. Again, a nice EPG guide. I, I actually don't mind the actual EPG guide, the standard one on, on here. It works quite well, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, so you just click on a channel and play again. You have to have your Wii Tech Pick Peeper Enigma on, uh, just leave it on. You can turn your TV off and have leave it on in the background, it's fine, it will just pick up the IP address and then you can just play from there. So that that's uh, I think that's it, really, to be honest, guys. I know it's quite a long video and I appreciate you watching it all the way through, but I hope I can get across to you what I feel about this box and um. Just how how you know how many avenues more that we can go down and improve this device, especially with the dual boot option. You don't need to go and buy another device. You've got a device where, as long as you get compatibility of the operating system um, that can use on a Wii Tech, which most are, if you look online, there's loads. And the the guys at AppNet um, TV uk please keep an eye on them and please follow them on Twitter at AppNet TV because these guys are just taking this box to a whole new level. And the um, yeah, the knowledge of those guys again, it just is absolutely phenomenal. So we'll leave it there, guys. I, I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate watching this video. I know it's kind of long, and um, I'll see you in the next video.